Hey everybody, this is Ken Reynolds, the worship pastor here at Res Granville. That's where I am. Thanks for joining us today. You know, I want to talk today about being relevant. All right. Relevant is a term that's thrown around a lot these days. Everyone's saying they're trying to be relevant. They're almost relevant. They want to get relevant or maybe they're boasting that they are relevant. (laughs) They've achieved the ultimate goal of being relevant. Well, I'd like to break that down and, and talk about really what it means. You know, and, and this is also geared not just for senior pastors, but to youth pastors, to worship leaders, worship pastors as well. Well, the first couple of things I want to do is just talk about what being relevant isn't, what it's not. Number one, being relevant isn't copying the latest thing. That's called a fad or a trend. They come and go. You can't duplicate something and expect it to work in your environment. And if you bring something that works over there into your environment, you're probably going to kill any momentum that you may have. And you may be saying, well, we have no momentum. That's what we're trying to do. Well, don't copy what someone else is doing. What you probably need to do is do your own homework. You know, dig in. It's probably going to take more than one person. You know, the Bible says that there's wisdom in a multitude of counsel. So get some help. Get some people around you that you trust. Maybe that's not going to tell you what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. Number two, for you worship leaders out there, being relevant isn't doing what the hottest song is out there. All right, that's on the radio. Or maybe a cool instrumentation, maybe a mandolin or a banjo. That's not being relevant. That's just being current. That's just being trendy. And that's cool, but that's really not what being relevant is. Number three, being relevant isn't doing a sermon that touches on current events in society. That's being current, which is important. But that's really not what being relevant is. Here's a definition of relevant. Closely connected or appropriate to the matter at hand. Another definition says this. Bearing upon or connected with the matter in hand. Pertinent. In other words, being relevant is doing what's important and meaningful in your congregation to your folks. It's what matters to you. And where many churches miss it is they equate relevant with current. Those are similar, but not perfect synonyms. All right, being current has a timetable attached to it. Being relevant does not. What's current today may not be current tomorrow. All right, being relevant takes a lot more intentionality. All right, it takes a lot more thought. Being relevant is more of a philosophy and it will affect what you do and how you do it. Just because a church of 150 down the road does all hymns with an organ doesn't mean they're any less relevant than we are. They could do hymns for three months and only touch two people. All right, but we could do the latest songs, the hottest songs that's out there, and touch the same amount of people, too. Their sermon down the road, which you may think is boring, could be just as ineffective as a sermon with the coolest title of a movie that's out. If it doesn't touch someone's heart, if it doesn't make them want to bring someone the next week, then it's not relevant to them. And that's really what matters. So my encouragement to you is when you're meeting with your volunteers or your staff members and you're trying to figure out what to do, this initiative or that initiative, and you want to be relevant, just don't throw on that term without really thinking about what it entails. You know, it's not just about copying the latest thing or what's going on in society. It's good to know what's going on in society, but that's being current. What you really want to do is change a life. You know, knowing what's going on around you or in society may dictate a particular direction you may go in, but being relevant is successful when growth occurs, not just numerically, but spiritually. And I know that's what we all want. We all want spiritual growth because that impacts the kingdom. Well, this is Ken Reynolds signing off for Link. Thanks for listening. I just encourage you to show this to your team and maybe to your worship leaders. God bless you. Peace out. See you soon.